What is going on party people? Me and Brooks made it out to where we're turkey hunting tomorrow. Well, actually today, because since I'll probably be posting this today. But uh, right behind my shoulder over there, that's where we're gonna go stuff the blind. Um, I'm trying to, we're gonna try to be super quiet once we get in there. So uh, I'm gonna talk to you up here. Haven't seen any turkeys, but we're gonna go walk around, check the woods out, check for tracks, check for uh, some scat and see if, see if they're back there. If they're not back there, I don't know what the plan is or what we're gonna do. Um, we located some birds earlier, but I think Brooks's cousin's gonna be setting up on them in the morning. So I guess let's get back there and let's see what we can see. The last couple days have been pretty cold. As you can see, we've got some snow behind us. Um, yeah, not ideal. Um, tomorrow is April the 15th, opener. I'm going with my bow, so I have all season to hunt. It's just cold. We've seen birds strutted and fanned out, but oh man, it just seems cold. It just seems early. Okay, change of plans. Big change of plans. Brooks is, uh, who's your uncle? Brooks's uncle um, just drove down the road past us. We actually waved at him. And he said like 600 yards from where we're walking in right now, there's like 35 turkey. So we turned around, headed back to the truck and uh, we're gonna go see where those birds take off to and uh, maybe get set up on those. So stay tuned, should be interesting. Okay, we, uh, we, we spotted these birds. Um, they're kind of tucked down in a little slough right now. We're kind of just sitting and waiting for them to either go towards the west or towards the east. Um, we have different spots that we can sit up on both sides of them. So I guess we're kind of just sitting and waiting. Um, I think the group that we're looking over is like 30 birds. So it's a pretty, pretty good, uh, pretty good group of birds. It's kind of just a sit and wait game now. It just started snowing a little bit. So I think we're just gonna hunker down in the vehicle and just wait for them to pop, pop out again. And hopefully we can get set up on them. Okay, quick change of plans. Um, Brooks dropped me off in my truck. I came back out to where we saw all those birds. We haven't seen them leave yet. Um, I mean, there's like a field that goes for probably a mile and uh, they're not walking through that and they're not up in this little chunk of trees over here. The only two places that they could go. So I'm still thinking they're sitting down in those cattails just getting out of this wind. Brooks is checking out a few other spots. I think they're all tucked up in the in the woods or uh, somewhere where they can get a nice wind block because it's blowing pretty good and it's only like 25 out so i mean it feels like 17. it's probably not ideal tomorrow's supposed to be cold too i think uh temperatures in the morning are looking like 13 14 degrees um but very calm and lots of sun so those birds can get out they can get out in the open get some sun heat up pretty quickly i mean they are a black bird so just it just sucks not being able to go and set up the blind on birds that you know are there uh all the birds besides one little group went ghost mode all the birds that uh we, we've seen in the past like week or two they've all went ghost mode um but when we were seeing them it was like 65 out it was pretty nice and now it's just not nice at all so i guess we're gonna keep sitting here keep glassing with binoculars and hopefully we can figure out where these birds are roosting because because this little chunk of trees, so where we where we spotted them was way down in that little thicket. And if you look past that, there's a huge dirt field that goes up into that far tree line. And the tracks actually cut across the road and came down into here. So either they're coming back into here or they're gonna go back over there. Like I said, it's it's pretty it's pretty chilly out. And uh, this is just not ideal. Geese are flying everywhere. Pheasants are out, deer are out, but no turkeys, no turkeys. All right, just pulled in to where we're gonna hunt. Where, I mean, as you can see, it's really dark out. I don't wanna turn the lights on inside the truck because the birds are not that far away. But I think we're gonna park up here, walk up this tree line that you guys can't even see, 
and uh, stuff the blind in somewhere over there so the decoys out in the field or even up in the woods I don't know we'll figure it out once we get up there but we got birds probably a couple couple hundred yards away so we're gonna get as close as we prob probably can without spooking them let's get down there let's get all set up I'll see you guys in the blind Current time is like uh, 7.30. We had three toms, two of them popped out in the field, and uh, one stayed up in the tree line. We got a couple hens right now um, that are probably within 200 yards, just tucked in the trees a little bit, just kind of waiting for the sun to poke up and out on the decoys. Hopefully something makes a commitment to come over and check it out. But there's, there's, there's a lot of birds in the area. Good sign, really good sign. Oh dang, took a little nap there. Um, headed back out, meeting up with Brooks, going back out to the stand, or to the to the blind, I guess. And uh, evening number one, I guess we'll see what happens. A lot of action this morning. Saw four or five different toms, um, a couple, whole bunch of hens, and we heard um, a whole bunch of birds going off this morning uh, once that sun got up, so. I'll talk to you when I get back on the blind. Stay tuned. Me and Brooks made it out to the blind. Um, we got out here about 10, 15 minutes ago. And right away, we had a hen or a small jake pop out behind us. Um, I just kind of took a peek back there just to see because we had one back there this morning. And sure enough, jumped the creek. And uh, then scurried up the little hillside where we saw him earlier today. <clears throat> Got 
gosh, another close encounter. Let's uh, let's just sit and wait, do a little calling, and see what happens. <laughs> the light um, we've had some hens start clucking back over here in the woods um, but not very often they haven't been too talkative this afternoon um, like I said we got about an hour left Brooks what do you think I'm gonna give it the last hour see what happens yeah got we reduced our um, decoy spread we had three hens this morning and a Jake now we just got uh, two hens out there and a Jake so hopefully something comes out over this little hillside here and doesn't like this little jake down here at these ends stay tuned see what happens all right guys just getting back to the truck um decent night really decent night um beautiful out i think it was like 25 26 degrees a little bit of a breeze um but when that sun was on us uh, it felt it felt pretty good um not much action no turkeys really um, I had one slip in behind us and kind of headed um, up the hillside. Might have got a little bit of footage on that. But we also saw after that um, four hens hop up into roost. I think Brooks is going out there tomorrow. I, on the other note, have different plans. Uh, me and Sobe might be doing a little hiatus uh, coming up here very, very quick. So turkey season, I might be putting on pause just for a little bit. Um, but thank you guys for staying tuned through this video. Uh, I hope you guys are ready for the, what's coming up in the next couple of days because it should be pretty crazy. Um, thank you guys again, and uh, we'll see you in another video. Be rack outdoors. What it do? Five in the morning and I got my mind on loop. I never sleep because they smoke up in the Bugatti. I woke up in the coop. The G. 35 gin and juice where I woke up feeling like Snoop. And the whole team ready about the action and we didn't come to loop. Now we didn't come to loop. Math, I am living proof, and I just kick it, I do my business, and then I visit the obituary when I hit the booth, and I did it all on my own, cause nobody showed me no love, but now they say damn it he's grown, you should've known, now what is the come, they say, oh lord.